to new mothers out there, new parents, I just want to encourage you, no matter how hard your situation is, or no matter how much you expected for a normal kid, and then you get a kid who's maybe different from the rest, appreciate them first. Love them unconditionally, and blessings will flow. We, we don't know. We don't know why these things are happening to us. We don't know, but I know for a fact that everything happens for a reason, and the reason is always good. My name is Ruth Homboimboro, and this is my, my daughter, Naila Mirera. So I gave birth to Naila on 14th of February. She's a Valentine's baby, and I think that is why she's just always happy. I gave uh, at Mata Hospital. Uh, it was a normal birth, um, but when I gave birth to her, I noticed she had some yellowing in the eyes. And upon asking the pediatrician, he said, ah, that is OK. You just go home. She'll be fine. So two weeks later, her, the eye, the eye, the yellowing continued. It was still popping out to still there. So we went to Catroots Hospital and that's when she, um, we were told it could be jaundice that is developing, but just expose her to light and she'll be okay. We exposed her to light, she, she was okay. So Naila's milestones were never the same as any other kid because there was a mother downstairs from where I used to live. We gave birth the same day and her baby you could see the growth, you could compare, in as much as it's not good to compare, you could just see, because I'm a first time mom, I don't know what I'm supposed to achieve at what time. Um, so she could tell me, don't compare kids, kids are different. But then again, there was something, something was not right. We went to see a neurologist. He booked us in for a test, which was supposed to go abroad. And we are supposed to get the results after two weeks, two, three weeks. He said your baby has something called SMA, spinal muscular atrophy. This is whereby, in a nutshell, her motor neurons start shedding off. To an extent, it'll get to a point whereby she can breathe by herself, she can swallow by herself, she can't even afford to smile because they've shed off, her muscles have shed off, and or they grow weaker and weaker and weaker to support all those things. Mm -hmm. When he was finalizing, he told me, you enjoy the little time you have with your baby. You never know. So I'm like, what do you mean enjoy the little time with my baby? Does it mean that we have a lifespan? Mm -hmm. Said, yes, you do. Kids with such condition don't get to six months because now you see if it affects your breathing mm -hmm. and the swallowing, eventually mm -hmm. you, you pass on. Because now what happens when she swallows, that is what was happening. Mm -hmm the food gets into her lungs. Her lungs become wet, and now she gets respiratory pneumonia. That's why she was always having chest issues. She was always chesty. She could not swallow by herself. And we didn't know and it makes sense. So you see, they can keep on having pneumonia, 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 until they pass on because their immune system is weak to fight, or they can struggle to breathe until they get tired. So they rarely don't get to two years baby then was one year, one month. So I asked him, basically, I have this 11 months to be with her. He said, yes, in a nutshell, that's it. I think now she has secretions. Her chest tends to get um, heavy, so I have to remove them. And it makes her uncomfortable, then she sweats, so I have to remove. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, mommy, sorry. Sorry.
Okay, sorry. This is where I feed her from. And don't shy off. However you feed your kid, however she's breathing, don't shy off, be proud. This is a peg tube. There are some tubes which are currently in a Milton solution. You touch and then you hold it and it's just, it just flows with gravity. This is where we feed her from and this is where she breathes from. Sorry. Oh, you want to touch me? Why do you want to pinch me? And since the time he gave you the timeline, how many months are we waiting? Um, then we had 11 months. Now, how many now we have eight. Eight months? Yes. So not unless there's divine miracle from God or there's a drug called Spiranza. Spiranza, it increases the lifespan of such babies and at least they're able to um, strengthen their, <laughs> it, yes, strengthen their muscles. So at least they can improve. My request as a parent is if at least I could get Spiranza. Mm -hmm. It is ridiculously expensive, but I cannot sit down and watch my baby shed off until she passes on. And I know there's something I would have done to make it better. There is, I would have talked to people, I would have appealed to people, and maybe someone would have helped me and extend her lifespan. Speranza is 12.9 million a job. And yeah. Hi. Mm -hmm. It is twelve point nine million a job and she will need like six jobs the first year. And then yeah. Every year from there she'll need like four jobs. That is really expensive. But I have faith because so far she can do without oxygen. She can do a day without oxygen, two days without oxygen. What would you like her to know right now? That I love her so much and regardless of the number of times I've been told by people, oh, just let her go, you know, times you have to let her go so that God can do whatever he wants. I have never let her go and I don't think I'll ever let you go and I love you so much and I'm willing to do anything anything to get you that drug mm -hmm. because I want to see you running like any other kid I want to see you laughing sitting down I want to take you to school I just want to show her the world and it's not much for a mother to ask for it's all what mothers want but then comes diseases that we didn't even know about. And they just snatch everything away from you. You don't experience the full term motherhood like any other mother should. But at the same time, I thank God because he has given me the strength. And I have supportive people around me. And to anyone out there who can help me, I need to raise money for my baby. I want her to live a normal life like any mother will want. But I have this platform to share my story. And that's why I'm asking for an appeal to anyone out there. You can even go to the president, to our governor, women rep. It is not fair for us to give birth to kids, for us to be told they'll pass on at a certain age. It is not fair. We need to do something. We need to recognize such problems because they kill. In fact, it is the number one genetic infant killing baby. We need to recognize such things to make our kids have a more life and to just encourage people out there that even our country is as good as other countries and it can help people like us.